So right now we are gonna talk about this Pivot Trail 429. It's about a 30 pound lightweight trail bike, 130, 120, 66 to 66 and a half degree head angle. So kind of a do it all lightweight trail bike. Uh, you've had a couple days to ride it around here. We're up here in Nevada City, California. The, this is the Parliament Trail Network uh, that, that was built by Bonk, the local organization that's done amazing work to create a really cool place for us mountain bikers to come play. So Whitney, you're the boss of all of our Colorado stores uh, and you guys have been a dealer for a long time. They're new to us in California. I wanna hear how your experience was on this bike the last couple of days. Fantastic. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. You have 100 points and you're gonna divvy them up across uh, five different characteristics of the bike. Where you got climbing, we have descending, we have handling, we have pedaling efficiency, and we have value. So you get to split those all up, they gotta add up to 100. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. So let's start with climbing. You gave it a score of 18 points. Tell me more, what did it feel like? What did you think? How'd it go? Yeah, I, you know, this is such a fun overall bike. Um, I think it's super duper capable on many levels. I, again, is, you know, you only have 100 points. How are you going to divvy them up? Right. I think that it is a it is a good climber. I think that there are some other things about it that I enjoy more. Yep. Um, some of its attributes that we'll get into later, I think lend to its climbing. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that the bike overall has really great geometry. And so you're in a fantastic position in the bike, um, both seated, but also gives you room to, to get up out of the saddle for power moves. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it is, it is a really great climbing bike when you're just going uphill sitting down. Um, but some of the other things about the bike are what really excite me. Yeah, with the DW Link, you know, it really works well under power, transfers power, but we're gonna get to the things that you were more excited about. So let's get into the fun part of mountain biking, the descending. You gave this bike a 25. Tell me about it. Yeah, this bike is a fun descender, and I think that Pivot in general, they make a beautiful bike for um, that bump compliance, whether um, you know you are either climbing bumps, but especially descending bumps, mm -hmm. it just soaks up big hits, small hits. Um, the suspension design that they have put into their bikes just make for a really, really beautiful riding bike. It mm -hmm. inspires confidence on super choppy terrain. Um, and just an all around fun. You, this bike likes to go fast while feeling confident and smooth. Yeah, watching you ride, we, you know, a lot of the trails here are really flowy and you, you just kept a lot of speed and felt like you were kind of in the zone and just ripping it. It was fun. Yeah, awesome. So let's talk about handling next. Uh, you gave this a score of 21. Um, what stood out to you about the handling, whether you were up, down, flat, rolling, left, right, whatever? Yeah, so with the Pivot bikes, the one thing that I really like with their suspension design is that it's, and the geometry is that it's really easy to get the front end up and over things, and then the back end just pops right up. Mm -hmm. And so for power moves and, you know, things that are kind of awkward or weird, it just, it handles so well. It, um, that, that DW link in the suspension kind of like gives you a little extra oomph over obstacles. Gonna get up and over the rear one once you're already there. Yeah, yeah. and so, you know, both climbing and descending this bike is just so much fun. Yeah, awesome, cool. Let's talk about the pedaling because descending you gave it a 25 and your next highest score, almost as high, was pedaling efficiency, which you gave a 24. Uh, not surprising with the DW Link, uh, that's one of its standouts, but tell me more what you felt. Yeah, and I think that, that you know, I, I decided to give more points to the pedaling efficiency than the climbing because they lend each to each other. Mm -hmm. um, but man, these bikes are just such great pedalers. You know, it gives you the efficiency when going uphill, but also on flat or chun like chundery, all of the things this bike just likes to soak up. Yeah, the thing that stood out to me riding this, these bikes accelerate and respond to your power like almost like a, a whole travel level below. So whatever bike you're on, they, they, they kind of like lurch forward almost like they're one whole level uh, below, which is super, super fun. All right, so lastly, let's talk about value. Uh, you gave it a score of 12, uh, not surprising, but tell me more about kind of how you looked at the value aspect. Yeah, this one was really hard because I do think that there is a lot of value being a, a high-end bike. Um, they do, what, one thing I like is that the frame is the same on all of their builds, whether mm -hmm. it is that um, 6,000 up to the high end, it's just the suspension and components. So you're getting their best frame, they only make the best. They only make the best. Um, right. They're second to none on quality, their tolerances are, are industry leaders, um, but it's, you know, with only having 100 points, I definitely felt that um, I wanted to give more to those other right. categories, right. even though 
there's to me there's there is still a lot of value in this it's just a real good climber a real good descender and pedals real well all right so i know i know that's hard right you want to give everything a, a great score um, but you got to kind of pick and choose what stands out so now that you've kind of gone through that exercise who would you recommend this bike for um, what kind of friend? Yeah, I would say that the person I would recommend this bike for the most is the person that wants a a one bike quiver. That that it, there's that one bike that does it all. Um, that is going to be a really good climber that goes for really long high country rides, but then is also fun on the chunky stuff um, as well. And so for the if you don't get to have a bunch of options to pull from in your stable and you only get one, this is a fantastic bike. Yeah, cool. If you want to find out more about the Pivot 429, or any other pivots for that matter, come check us out uh, at any of our stores in the Denver area or across Northern California, or hit up our friends at mikespikes.com. Thanks.